All right, hey, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you again with another instant noodle recipe time. This is where I impart my knowledge of instant noodle garnishing and enjoyment to you after my almost 3,000 reviews to date. So, today we got one from Indonesia. Mi Goreng, hot and spicy by Indomie. Indomie, if, if you if you don't know who Indomie is, you've been living under a rock, or you just didn't know. So <laughs> I, I don't want to insult you into not trying it because honestly, this is some of the best instant noodles in the world. Uh, they used to be on my top ten. Uh, not this particular version. This this one was on the top ten spicy. It's part of the reason that I'm. Uh, doing this one up is because there's a box that you can buy and it's called the Ramen Raider Spicy Pack and it's from a company called the Gourmet Ramen Club and you can get this box and it's I think it's what nine nine varieties of instant noodles in there for 25 bucks shipped to your door and there's even a coupon code um, check out the video that comes up at the end and you can get all that info. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet deal considering you'd have to go and buy four packs and you'd have to hunt down and if you're in an area with no Asian groceries, you'd be kind of out of luck and it's, it's a nice selection. I think you'll really like it. But anyways, let's get to the task at hand. I gotta make these noodles. So let's drop them in the boiling water that's out of sight for you and we're gonna run it for three minutes hopefully you can see that if you can't my oh you can anyways so the this indomie stuff is different you cook it you drain it and then you add in a lot of stuff here's two sachets there's a oh oh it's right side okay there's seasoning sauce, or seasoning powder, and chili pepper. Those are dry. Then, hold on to your butt. So you got a seasoned oil. You've got a, uh, what do you call it? Ketchup manis. I really don't know how to pronounce it. I need more Indonesian friends. Actually, I got a really good Indonesian friend, and I'm gonna plug his store right now. It's called Warong Jajanan. And it's in Edmonds, Washington. Just type in W A R O E N G space J A J A N A N. Go in there, buy a bunch of stuff, buy a bunch of food. Jonathan's the man. He makes like the best freaking food you've ever eaten. Hope you're doing well, my friend. So, yeah, check check them out. Oh, oh. But anyways, one thing I want to stress to you about Indomie. The amount of people who have flipped out that it is not on my annual top 10 list. Indonesian people are very proud of Indomie. They love this stuff. This is like, I would say like one of their main national exports. Because it is some of the tastiest stuff you've ever had. And if you haven't had it, oh, do yourself a favor. Not only that, it's dirt cheap. You can get a box, like a box of 30 packs. God, how much is it, like $9.99? Sometimes it'll be on sale for $8.99 in rare occasions. But yeah, that's like, like the, that's cheaper than Top Ramen. And honestly, it's like leaps and bounds better. So yeah, you should definitely get hip to that. Um, and actually, this plate that I'm going to do up is going to... I've got like so much junk going on today, folks. It's crazy. I did two unboxings. I'm doing two recipe times. And then I'm going to have this as a uh, spicy noodle mukbang. Although I think I've already done it. But I figure, what the heck, I'm making it all nice and everything. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, it's summer. It's hot. Our AC is on 24-7. It's been like consecutive days of getting really close to 90 degrees and in Washington state that's like ridiculous I remember one year it got up to 105 here in like the 
kind of the Seattle metro area, just or North Seattle. It smelled like somebody left a salad on the stove. I mean, it was gross. It smelled bad. Anyways, we drain them. We do not make Indomie soup, despite what some freaking crazy nutball was saying on Reddit the other day. Do not make Indomie soup. You will make a nation of millions think you're insane. Unless they've come up with a really good way of making that, but honestly, it's just not the... No. No. Say it isn't so. A guy was asking, Oh, wow, I've always thought of making Indomie with a broth. Now, don't get me wrong, they do make Indomie varieties that are supposed to have a broth. That's fine. They make a wicked uh, chicken curry and a uh, nice what is it? chicken curry, onion chicken, special chicken. Uh, there's soto, which is kind of like kind of beef and lime. There's one that was like skipjack tuna, which actually you can't get that in the U.S. anymore. So why am I telling you about that? Because you might be in Indonesia. Yeah, I hope you are. Because you're lucky. Very lucky. Your food beats our food. In fact, all South Asian food <laughs> beats our food. I can't think of any food that makes me go, you know what? I could never give up hamburgers. I mean, any, any cultural differences. Just the food we have here... A lot of it's good, but I'm I'm personally I like food that comes from far away. Now on this one, I'm gonna skip using the uh, fried onion, fried shallot, whatever it is, because I have some fried onion right here. So, all right, now the trick is to like combine the heck out of this stuff. You really want to get everything all worked together nicely. Failing to do that can result in some really strong, flavorful pockets of food that just, I don't know. Now what you could also do is just do this whole thing in a walk and then do all your fun stuff there. That's, if you go on YouTube, that's what you should be doing. Skip watching this video, honestly. Go, if you're already on YouTube. Go look at, uh, type in Indonesian street food. Mi goreng. And that'll, that'll blow your mind a little bit. Oh yeah. Ubi dooby. Oh yeah. All right, so. And a lot of the time, if you, if you look, You'll find some videos of people making street food in Indonesia using Indomie mi goreng. It's not like here in the States where people think of instant noodles and think, you know, oh, you eat that? That's not even food. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, people are really snobby about their silliest things here, but. Anyway, here's some shrimp. those nicely and I'm just gonna throw some tofu puff because I had some extra oh I had a lot of extra well I really like tofu puff so I guess I'm gonna have a lot of tofu puff on here and some coriander I wish I had some Dua Belibus or Dua Belibus I don't know how it's pronounced correctly I always find out and then I forget it's a spicy sauce from Indonesia that's just the bomb there's Dua Belibus their ABC makes one that's another that's a big brand in Indonesia oh hey you get back you don't need a sheet of hard boiled egg or soft boiled egg 
I'm going to slap this egg in a nice cozy spot right there. And we're going to cut her uh, like that. And this is something, if you don't... Oh, I got that sweet soy on my fingers. If you haven't heard of this, this is level... Oh, this is original, so this is like level three. I think, but... Stuff's called bonchabe. And... It's a, uh, it's a seasoning. Here, watch. I'll season things with it. I really like it just like straight up like this. People use it to do like fried chicken, all sorts of stuff. And then there's some crispy onions here. I'm just gonna go crazy with them. And so. Yeah, there's there's a ridiculously large amount of, of onion. But yeah, that's that's me garang and that's that's a pretty nice looking plate of it. I'm pretty happy with that. A lot of the time and most most often than not, it's not soft boiled egg you would use, it's hard or a uh, fried egg because it has the runny yolk. And I was hoping that these would have had more of a runny yolk to them. But they do not. So, my apologies for my my poor methodology. But that's just kind of what ended up being the deal. So, anyways, yeah, that came out nice. I like that. That looks good. All right. Well, this was Indomie Migaring Hot and Spicy. This is how it looks in the U.S. Does it even say? It doesn't. Oh, yeah, I don't. Right down there. Export product. It'll look a little different in different parts of the world, but if you're in Nigeria, you can find this. If you're in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, you can find this. I believe we've got a uh, Hungarian factory now. Yeah, Indomie is pretty, pretty global, and eventually they'll probably get one here in the U.S. I mean, they're, they're pretty big, and their stuff's good, so... All right, well, if you like this, perhaps you'd like to take a gander at these other things. Uh, here's the spicy pack, and here's the uh, the spicy noodle mukbang. The spicy pack is the one that you can buy and has this along with a ton of other varieties from my top ten spicy list. So. All right, with that, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles every day, and have a good one. Bye.